they recognize that they are weapons and that they were made to be used to kill other things and to destroy other things and they've made peace with that as they've grown into who they are. And you'll notice that like when we talk about them in the books, we never have them bothered by the whole deal of them being abducted. They're almost always looking at that as, well, if it didn't happen, there wouldn't be a human race to protect anymore. And so there's a, a really deep sort of gravity to their understanding of being a Spartan, to their recognition of the weight of that, and just the fact that they, they're embracing it as their destiny. This is what I was made for. This is what I was born to do. They're not seeing it as a situation where they were given a you know, short change. Um, they're seeing it as this is, this is the way it was supposed to be. And so their attributes are solemn acceptance. They, almost all of them have this sense of, we're here, we're gonna die one day. And it may be tomorrow, it might be 10 years from now, it's gonna happen, it'll probably happen in battle but we're gonna, we're gonna do what we've been called to do uh, until that happens. This is about Master Chief's journey, his past and his future. For Chief, it's interesting because he's reunited with Blue Team and this is the first time that we're seeing him actually rely on other people and be a part of a unit. There's also someone else looking for answers, searching for him. On the flip side, you've got Fireteam Osiris, who's a brand new team. They've never really fought together before. And I guess there's a parallel there for, you know, kind of where we were at with Halo 4. There's the fact that we built a studio and made a game at the same time. That's pretty crazy if you actually knew like what that entails. Next year will be 20 years for me in the industry and the stories I heard on the airport. I think a lot of us did and I definitely felt a lot of pressure. The bar was so high and nobody believed that we could do it and so it was kind of up to us to prove everybody wrong. We brought in these amazing, talented people to make a game but they never worked together before. They're working with new ingredients in a kitchen they're not familiar with, and so there was kind of a craziness that came about from all that. Like, I don't know how it happened. You know, all of the things that could be against a team or against a team. We had to earn um, the right to, to carry that Halo mantle. And I think that when you are in games and when you're in entertainment, um, there is no sure thing. We've got this big galaxy-spanning story. Oh, there's these, there's these attacks that are happening on colonies. There's this massive destruction that's happening. Somebody stop it, somebody save the day. But at the heart of it is, again, the story of these two families and these two things that they want. And if you don't have those quiet little human stories, it doesn't matter how many planets you blow up, nobody's gonna care. <laughs> Anyone can get lucky once. This is our sophomore effort. This is where we prove it, whether we're, whether we can really pull Halo off. Exclusive.